Retina Rounds, episode number 41, Acreos Modification Using the B Cartridge. In today's episode, guest surgeon Dr. Jesus Maticarena Cavedo, who's a retina fellow at the Fundacion Zambrano in Buenos Aires, Argentina, is going to demonstrate how to use a B cartridge to implant a scleral fixated acreos lens. We want to thank Dr. Maticarena for sharing this case. We're going to start this case by threading the Gore-Tex suture through the eyelets of the acreos lens. You can see that this Gore-Tex suture is going from a posterior to anterior approach in a hammock style fashion uh, so that the Gore-Tex suture can be kept away from the posterior surface of the iris. Now using the B cartridge IOL injector, the Gore-Tex suture from one side of the IOL is threaded through the cartridge. It's important to keep uh, these Gore-Tex sutures straight so that they don't get tangled and potentially go into the wrong um, externalization sclerotomy. Now some more viscoelastic is put in the, uh, in the injector and the IOL is advanced. You can see that that IOL folds uh, nicely into the B cartridge. Now uh, using a handshake maneuver, the uh, Gore-Tex suture uh, is externalized through the corresponding sclerotomy. Again, important to keep these uh, sutures straight so that you're uh, externalizing through the correct sclerotomy and not crossing the sutures. Once those Gore-Tex sutures uh, have been pulled through, you can then visually confirm uh, that the sutures are straight and not crossed. The B cartridge is then introduced into the anterior chamber through a clear corneal wound, and the intraocular lens is then implanted into the posterior segment. Now, uh, using again a handshake maneuver, the, uh, the Gore-Tex suture from the other side of the IOL is externalized through uh, their corresponding uh, sclerotomy sites. Once the Gore-Tex sutures have been externalized, then the uh, lens can be secured in place now using a 3-1-1-1 suture. First, the 3 uh, uh, placed loosely to properly uh, center the lens. You can see that's done on, on both the temporal and nasal aspects. Once the, once the lens is properly centered, then the lens can be locked into place using uh, two additional uh, throws of the suture. And the knots of the Gore-Tex suture are then internalized into the pars plana through the sclerotomy. This is a nice modification to the traditional acreoscleral fixation technique, and there are a number of reasons why using the B cartridge can be advantageous. First, uh, this process makes the folding of the intraocular lens easier. In a traditional uh, acreos lens implantation technique, the lens is folded in half using either a McPherson forcep or a flat tying forcep. And that process of making uh, folding the lens almost like a taco uh, can be a little bit difficult to make sure that the lens is uh, folded exactly in half so that it can fit through a slightly enlarged clear corneal wound. Uh, and it's also ch uh, sometimes challenging to do this in a manner that doesn't damage or scratch the intraocular lens. Second, uh, the B cartridge allows the lens to be implanted into a wound that's about three millimeters in size. Typically, uh, with a traditional technique, the corneal wound has to be enlarged slightly larger than three millimeters to uh, comfortably introduce the lens into the anterior chamber in the posterior segment. And finally, using the B cartridge uh, potentially is less traumatic to both the corneal wound and the endothelium uh, since uh, it's a little bit more controlled than folding the lens in half and placing it into the eye using forceps. Again, thank you Dr. Mati Karena for sharing this technique. If you enjoyed this video, please visit us at retinarounds.com. There you can sign up for our email list. You'll get a notification every time a new video is posted. And if you have an interesting video or a tip or trick that you'd like to share, please follow the links on our website and you can upload your video there. Thanks so much for watching.